So, here's the story, and I'm sticking to it. Last night, my friend John brought over a brand new Night Radian 2.0 meter sailplane and asked me to help him program the radios. So, today I happened to be over near the Hobbytown shop over in Castleton, which is part of Indianapolis, actually. And they had several of these left in stock, and before I knew it, it was in the trunk of my car and on the way home. So I've got to kind of be careful about this because today's my wedding anniversary, and we're going to be leaving shortly to go to the local art museum and enjoy <clears throat> some fine art and a tour of the grounds, and the grounds will actually be fun. And take some pictures and celebrate our anniversary, have lunch over there, uh, and then back home tonight. So anyway, you can see the results here very clearly that I now have a boxed night radian in the basement, ready to be unboxed and put together. So wife's not dressed yet, and I'm going to, I don't think this is going to take very long, so I'm going to do a video of uh, putting this thing together. I'm not going to bore you with unboxing it. Anybody can do that. So this is not an unbox and build. This is an unbox and piece together model. It's not balsa. It's not covered with film or fabric. It's not got an engine you have to mount and radios to put in it and servos to mount. It's just... Take it out, put the wings and the tail together, and go fly it. So let's see uh, if we can run into any kinks here that maybe I could help you out with if you elect to buy this airplane. Okay, so here it is, unboxed. And like I said, it seems to be a pretty simple model. So what you get is a fuselage. With, uh, looks like everything's hooked, well, no, the uh, elevators are not hooked up yet, but the rudder is already hooked up. Uh, canopy, is a couple of pieces of tape holding the props back. Uh, this guy here is servos and the light connections, and it's a magnetic swinging door, which is nice. And a canopy, which I need to untape. Oh, good. I didn't pull the decals off. So let's see. We got the other side. Some tape here we need to take off very carefully. Oh, let's see here. There we go. Okay, there's the tape. There's the canopy. And then here we've got, let's see, we got a radio, a 631, which is nice. It's got telemetry. We have a telemetry ESC, the motor, and a bunch of wires. I'm going to take the labels off those. And the battery actually fits back here. And it takes a 2200 3S or lighter fit everything up. You got a bunch of connections for all the wires. It is a night radian after all. So we have two wings, a very longish spar, and our elevators, which appear to be very stiff. Oh, no wonder. We have also need to take this tape off. Otherwise, you're not going to have much elevator authority. Okay. Oh, much better. Still stiff. So let's bend these guys to get them limbered up. Really don't like these taped up styrofoam hinges. And this one's taped on both sides, which means it's pretty secure. And it will eventually loosen up. The Radian series does not have ailerons, but it does because of the shape of these wings with these upswept tips. It does, in fact, 
result in fairly coordinated flight. So our elevator and our rudder back here on the tail is going to be all we're going to have to fly this thing. In terms of parts, what we get are some three screws, a bind plug, and some tape. And you don't really need the bind plug because the 631 is a push to bind receiver. So, and a manual. So. Okay, and I'm sure it registered or not, but the phone call came in. I had to answer, so I'm back again. So, what does it take to put this thing together? Let's look at the manual. So, I've never built one of these. Okay, tail installation. Slide the horizontal stabilizer into the slot in the fuselage. It's got this wire on it, which I think is from my previous experience last night with this model. It's kind of a bit of an issue. So, oops, wait a minute. It's got to go in the other way, actually. And let's see. Oh, oh I see now. Yep. Exactly how you center this up, other than just by sight. I'm not sure. That looks about right. So strangely enough, you've got this wire dangling out here that gets hooked up to a plug, and this is part of the lighting system. Now, why they left this wire dangling out, I don't know, but apparently it does have to get plugged in. Now, the only other thing you've got to do with this particular model is, let's see, pull that out. The only connection with the wings is also for the lights. And so it appears that you put the yep, the wings together like so. Mm -hmm. That fits very nicely. Except the fuselage goes in there. Okay, so we got to fit the fuselage. In. So <clears throat> this goes in through the fuselage, and this wire, and the wing, will fit into a opening right here. And that wire is going to get connected to the bottom hatch to the light system. This wire also goes in through a hole in the fuselage. Right, right there. By this model, it would be obvious where it goes. Slip down in there. And that fits up pretty good and tight. Yep. And there's the wire dangling off the bottom. I'll do something to secure that a little better. Okay, so for flip, let's put this thing over. It is, yeah, a full two meters. And then on the bottom here, we've got our Two wires, one of which is actually caught. Didn't fit through there properly. Flip it back over. Try that again. You can see where this is going to be a significant pain taking this thing apart and putting it together. Because it is not going to fit in my car. There, that's better. Oh, I'm getting 
Okay, now to finish the assembly, all you've got to do is apply tape, top and bottom, to this horizontal stabilizer, those screws holding it on. And I am not going to use the tape they supplied in this package. I'm going to use 3M packaging tape, which is bigger and stickier. And the only other thing you've got to do with this model to finish assembly of it, actual assembly, is to take two of these three provided screws, fit them in, I believe, through the bottom. Yep, through the bottom. And they screw in right here to hold the wing on. And these four tiny little pieces of very thin, very weak cellophane tape are going to get discarded. So if you buy this model, I suggest you take some clear packing tape to fasten these tails and tail surface on. Otherwise, all we have up here is our electrical connections for the lights. We have a light controller, which is at the moment not connected and a switch that turns the lights on and off. Okay, now they also provide a safe select cable, but I'm going to set up safe select through forward programming, so I don't need that. Take that out. Very simple radio setup. I've only got three plugs on it and the battery Oops, <laughs> long wings. The battery is going to fit back in here and get plugged in here. So like I said, very, very simple assembly. Just have to be careful with those big long wings. So that took all of about two minutes. I cut four pieces of 3M tape about that wide and glued down or glued down taped down the horizontal stabilizer and it is very secure so all i have to do now is bind it for that i'm going to need a battery so let's see what we got over in the box uh, i'm going to need a 3s there it is 3s 30c spectrum and this guy. So, bind it. Well, actually, no. First thing I'm going to do, I'm not going to bind it yet. I need to create a model. Warning, so, to create a model, I'm going to go into System Setup off the main menu. Model Select. Let's not do that. Let's try something different. Let's, no, we'll set one up from scratch. Add a new model. Create. Create. Model select. It's number nine acro. And later on, I'll relabel this as radian. Okay. So scroll down to bind. Punch the bind button and the receiver is flashing like it's supposed to. Bind. And it's bound. Okay. And it binds with, oops, yeah, the battery's not charged. So it binds up with the rudder connected to the aileron controls on the transmitter. And we've got, and that rudder appears to be, yep, that rudder's actually centered right up. Nice job, factory. 
Now, let's check the elevator to see if it's centered. Yep, the elevator is actually centered up very nicely, so I don't have to make any adjustments in the clevises in the back to make this thing fly. But I am going to have to do some other things, so let's change over the camera to the... Okay, here's the transmitter. And first thing we're going to do is go to throttle cut. And I'm going to set that up on switch D, just like the rest of my models. So position 0 is going to be minus 100. Position 1 is going to be minus 130, which is off. Position 2 is also going to be minus 130. Okay, so let's see if that worked or not. Yep, throttle cut is on, throttle cut is on, throttle cut is off. Okay, so throttle cut off now. We can safely go on about our business without worrying too much about throttle. Here we go. Now, got that set up. I'm going to set up Expo and aileron on this model is the rudder actually, so it's the aileron control. So aileron is going to be set up on switch E, just like the rest of my models, the E for three rates, low rate. Well, let's do high rates first since it's already pretty much set up. That's high rates 100. I'm going to put in 20% expo. The, actually, the manual says, I think, 10. And then 20%. This will be mid rates. 20. And I'm going to do 75. And then low rates is going to be 50. And Expo 20. Check, 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 check. Okay, rudder. Or elevator, I mean. Okay, that is the rudder. Okay, so... Here we go. Let's try this. Yep, that's working correctly. So, next thing we're going to set up is elevator. There we go. And I'm going to leave elevator at 100% on all three settings. Really what you need to control with rates is roll. So, 20%. Oops, I forgot to change the switch. Switch E, position 2, 20%, I already changed that one, this one needs changing, 20%, and that's all that we need to set up for dual rates and expo. Checking this elevator, as we change the rates, it doesn't change, okay, good enough, so that's that. Throttle curve, what else do we need to change? Okay, we need to set up a channel for safe select. So we're going to go over here and we're going to go to F mode setup. And the switch is going to be uh, B. B, three flight modes on B. And I'm going to assign that to AUGS2. Channel assign. B 
B is already assigned to AUGS2. Okay, great. So B switch is up here. That's my safe select. Go back to the list, go back to main, come down to forward programming. Whoops, there's my battery warning again. Go down to forward programming, gyro settings, safe select. So, in this switch, up. Uh oh, something is wrong. Oh, I know. Safe select channel is AUGS2. Okay, I forgot to change that. Okay, flight mode 3 is going to be no gyros. So I'm going to turn AS3X and safe to off. Back. So select again, just to make sure it's working. Okay, flight mode two is AX3X, and I want it on, and I want safe off. I don't want both of them on at the same time. Safe select down here is turned on, and I'm going to need that for the next step. Okay, flight mode one is now automatically already set up. That safe select is on channel logs two, safe is on, safe select is on. So if I pick up the model and I roll it, we should see the rudder move. Yep, and the rudder is in fact moving correctly. Let me get that on the camera here. So you can see that as I roll the airplane, rolling to the right, the rudder is commanding left, rolling to the left, the rudder is commanding right. If I flip it to AS3X, the gyros, you can hear the gyros working to correct the roll. And if I go to off, no noise, everything, the gyro, Jet rows are totally off. So, what else have I got to do? Well, that was pretty simple, huh? Another thing that I like to do is set up sounds. <clears throat> and sounds for switch changes. Uh, and I set up four things, generally five, but uh, four things for this model. And those are gyro settings, either safe on, stabilization mode, or manual mode, throttle cut on, throttle cut off, or motor off, you have a choice to make there, doesn't matter, and rates, and then I like to set up the right knob as the volume control. So let's set up that right knob first. To do that, we're going to go down to System Setup. And I always have a hard time remembering System Settings. Go down to Next. Go down to Volume Control Select. Down to Analog and switch this to, oops, right knob. Volume 95. Okay, so now it already announced volume it. Volume 95. And as you change the volume, it will change the volume, give you a sound for that. Volume 95. Volume 65. Volume 95. So that verifies that you, when you twist that knob, that you have changed it and tells you how much you have changed it. So let's go back to the beginning. And that rearms everything so the battery alarm comes on because that's a, that battery's only got about 25% left. So, uh, next thing we're going to do is disarm flight mode changes. Spoken mode. Flight mode two. 
Flight mode three. Okay. Turbine, no data. I want to change that to something else. And to do that, I need to silence that B switch flight mode announcements. To do that, you go down to system setup and go to spoken flight mode. Uh, I don't know. I think I changed that to turbine when I was messing around with something. Okay, so I want to change this to silence. There, oops, silence is down below. This is a long list. I've never managed to memorize what's where and the categories they have set up on here. So I'm looking for silence. I know it's in here somewhere. There it is. Why? It's way down there. Things aren't... Okay. I don't want flight mode 2. I want silence. There it is. And flight mode 3, I also want silence. So now when we change switch B, we'll hear what we want to hear. There we go, silence. Back. Now let's go back to the main screen. We'll get our battery alarm again. And we're going to start setting up our audio events. And I'm going to go in alphabetical order. So switch changes. B, I've already started. So switch B, position zero is down. Yep. And that is going to be safety on. I think that's back up here. Yeah, safety switch on. Position one is going to be stability mode. Mm, it's down here below that instead of above it. Stabilization mode. And position two, which is up, is going to be manual mode. You could also call it normal mode. I like manual mode. Yeah, it's in here somewhere. There, finally, manual mode. So let's test that. Stability mode. Manual mode. Stability mode. Safety switch on. Okay, so that's switch B. Took a while to scroll through a little bit, but you only have to do it once. So now, switch D is throttle cut. So position zero is throttle on. I'm not going to turn it on. So that will be... Throttle cut off or motor on, whichever one you want to call it. I'll just call it motor on.
if I can find it. Oh, they do have a safe mode. No, I didn't remember that. Okay, we could call our safe mode safe mode. No, I didn't find it. Other people are more experienced seem to be able to... Oh, there it is. Motor on. Right under flight mode. There it is. Took a while. But okay, so that is that. And this will be motor off. Or you could call it throttle cut on. Either one. Motor off. There it is, motor off. Motor off. Okay, that worked, and position two will also be motor off. You may wonder why I'm using a three position switch for this. It's because it's a nice tall switch handle, and it's directly above the throttle. And the only other one up there is the C switch, which is also directly above the throttle, but it's a short switch handle. So I like to use the tall ones. So this will also be motor off. If I can find it again. Uh, the problem with this is you can just scroll by stuff so fast. I think I scrolled by it. I did. Let's go back up. There it is. Motor off. So let's test it. Low. Motor on. Motor off. Motor off. There we go. Good. And then rates. And that is on switch E. This one will be easy. Because on this one, select category. Motor rates. That one I know. Okay, so go to the top. Position two, which is down, will be low rates. Low rates. Mid rates. And high rates. There you have it. Mid rates, low rates, high rates. Uh oh, got them backwards. Position two is low rates. Well, that's easy to change. Low rates, and change that one to high rates. There we go. Now, mid rates, high rates, low rates. Okay, now that's all there is to change on here. We are basically now set up to go fly. This thing is ready. I haven't actually screwed the wings on, and I won't yet because I just don't want to have to take it back apart again. But we have everything going. We have elevators. We have roll. Let's call that roll instead of rudder. And it looks like... Yep. Taking a second look after exercising those controls, it looks like I may have to make a little minor adjustment in the rudder. We'll see. Let's see here. That may have. Oh, I know what that is. That's manual mode. Uh, no, mode. it's because it was wasn't sitting level, and I had it in safe, and so the, the rudder was trying to compensate for it. So safety yep. switch on. Yep, there it goes. That's what manual it was. mode. All right. I think this little bird's ready to go flying.
Now here we are, Site 4, about ready to launch. This is in Muncie at the AMA National Headquarters. And there we go, just an easy toss, full throttle, immediately throttle back. We're just going to fly a couple of patterns here and land just to give you an idea of what the model looks like in the air at low altitude. I'm taking it out of safe because I've noticed that the tail tends to wag a lot when it's in safe mode and some turbulence, and there's definitely a little turbulence here today. Uh, just using rudders to try to control roll has the effect of making that tail go back and forth quite a bit when the wings are rocking back and forth, and it just flies a lot more stable in manual mode, just like that. Still got a little power in, maybe 10 or 15 percent. Coming around in the pattern, and we'll make another round. It does fly really, really well and slow. I'm coming into only about a three or four knot wind there. And the bare earth you see out there, the AMA is uh, going to be replanting that this fall. It had gotten kind of torn up, so they've come out and leveled it. And they're going to seed it this week, and hopefully by next spring it'll be beautiful, flat, and grassy. So here we come for a landing and safe. Kind of looks like I'm getting close to some folks, but we're actually farther out there than you think. Nobody even paid any attention, and plop, there she goes on the ground. 